Okay, touch and base regarding this Thursday's Zoom intensive workshop, masterclass, whatever you want to call it. We are going to go with a load of information and you are going to walk away with a load of applicable things to apply literally to your life seconds after it's done. Um, the topic, hands, wrists, forearms, elbows. But as I said, I'm extending details and applications to the feet, ankles, calves, and knees as well off of the foot zoom. Whether or not you did the foot class doesn't matter, but we're going to be extending those as well and advancing those as well because the hands and feet connect very intimately to each other in regards to how we prepare them, how they're utilized, where they came from, and just the basic, basic foundational knowledge of them. Speaking of foundations, that's what we're going to get into. The start is just to break down some details about the hands so you understand more about this area of the body and you understand its importance because if you don't understand why any of the shit, you're really not going to apply the how because it doesn't matter to you. You'd just be doing it because somebody else does or you'd just be doing it because somebody else that you respect, admire, whatever, whatever it's going to be does it and that can't be a reason that can be a reason for inspiration but there's got to be something that you take and make yours and that's the point of how i operate clinically one-on-ones that's the point of how i operate with my zoom classes that i take very 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 seriously and also why i spread them out the way i do because they waste me there's going to be a lot you're going to get a lot from me where's this stuff coming from 24 years of research, development, challenging, clinical work, personal work, injuries, seeing people heal from injuries, um, all of it, so that you don't have to spend 24 years going through what I went through. That's the freaking point. It's taking my then experience and then starting at that and then moving forward for your 24 years and advancing it even more with the principles and concepts. So that's the whole thing, even with my one-on-one -on -one Zooms. Why not? Why so many follow-ups? Why don't we schedule more follow-ups on a weekly basis? Because they're not necessary. The way it's set up, it's for you to go ahead and take this because your understanding completely changed because it's coming from a place of 24 plus years and constantly changing even more. So then you're going ahead and applying, you're going ahead and making changes in your life. You're going ahead and looking at why injuries occur, why all these things would occur symptomatically. It's starting to make sense. And then you apply these changes to your life and create your own artistic changes from the understanding and now all of a sudden you revisit because it is tough to understand and grasp and hold and have faith and trust. It took me 24 years. It doesn't mean it takes you 24 years. That's the point. You then start from that and move forward with your 24 years. That's why I do what I do to the levels that I do and to the serious nature of why I do them. Um, same thing with house calls. House calls are not a come by and hang out with me type of a scenario. If that's the case, let's just hang out at a coffee shop as social people or as friends or what have you. If we're meeting face to face to do clinical work, that means we are serious about making changes because that's where I'm coming from. No more screwing around. There's a reason I close my office. There's a reason I pick these topics. There's a reason I live the way I do. Doesn't mean you live that way, but the principles, rules, and laws absolutely apply to you. And where you go moving forward, that's your call. We're just equipping you. So this Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific, if you cannot make it, it's okay. You guys know this. Anybody that attends, invests in the original live, you'll get a seven-day replay for you to go ahead and take all the information in and go ahead and digest it because it's going to be a lot going to be a lot for you. Um, so don't worry if time time doesn't work or schedules don't work. You guys will get a replay as soon as it's done. And I upload it and put it to YouTube. Bingo, I send it out. Um, also, when you register, send in your questions for the Q&A. Not that you have to have questions, so don't force yourself. But if you have some burning desires and some serious uh, particular inquisitions on from your end of things, send them. Um, Another thing I want to make clear, are we addressing specific syndromes or specific cases or specific uh, uh, injury sources and solutions? No, other than I'll reference some of the history of my own personal ones where I've healed um, or clinically people I've worked with. But as far as your specific case, no, there's no way because it's a group format. We would have to break down into a one-on-one -on -one and get you to start from a, face, a place of understanding why injuries would occur in the first place and then go from there. Um, 
But there is nowhere in the universe where you're gonna have less of an understanding of an injured area or an area of concern um, by you getting that area ridiculously um, strong from an understanding of what that, why that area would respond that way. So, um, just for anybody inquiring like, oh man, I've got a specific this, that, and the other, are you gonna address? No, because we just won't, but you'll be able to connect the dots on so many things and then go ahead and reinforce and put yourself in a position to be able to be prepared with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and then you apply the actual changes in action <laughs> based on that wisdom. We've got too much, it's not even wisdom, we've got too much knowledge and intellect that we've become so ignorant to anything natural going on inside ourselves. So we're intelligent, knowledgeable, intellectual, and we are so far gone off the other end of the reservation, it's, it's ridiculous. And as I said, um, something that hit me is being able to apply knowledge and wisdom with action and ability. My God, that is a, that is a threat of a person I wouldn't, if I was a harmful force on the planet, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go at that person. Um, okay, so this Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific, looking forward to seeing everybody there. As I said um, in previous uh, videos, there's gonna be more moves than other videos, uh, other classes have done. So there's gonna be more examples, more lists of movements to do um, from a training standpoint. And again, these things are things that I do on the regular and I had to resort to only being able to do these for two, three months earlier in the year because of my healing responses, because of what I went through in my life choices and everything else and how my body was responding. So all I was able to train were hands and feet. So you guys are gonna see that stuff. Um, going to go into Tommy John surgery because it's a hot topic coming back because Major League Baseball is, is uh, messing their diapers and they don't know how to change themselves. And so, um, I'm going to go into that, but then I'm going to do a Zoom specifically on that topic later on in the year for sure, because there's a lot I want to get into on that. But we're going to talk about Tommy John surgery. It's an elbow. It's an elbow scenario. There is a lot of details, even one, in fact, that came in a dream last night um, that I woke up with and had to make a note of because it was powerful. Um, so we're going to go into there. Falls, not how to fall, how to navigate falls, how to fall strategically, how to fall to not injure yourself, because that doesn't make any sense. It's how to put yourself in a position to prepare that if a fall occurs, which it will, because if you're living, you should be falling. <laughs> I fell running past patterns here. I've fallen on trails. I've fallen. You should fall. If you're living, you're falling. And then you're making sense of the fall. And then you're seeing holes and what you could do. But then you're surviving and adapting to the fall. The fall shouldn't be anything more than a piece of food or an encounter with another person or walking outside your house. It should be something that happens you recognize it wow interesting what a great test and then you make changes and adaptations or you build upon that that's it that's the only thing that falls should sit not this thing that we fear um because as i said living life in, in terms of being afraid of something that's going to happen or afraid of this thing or afraid even of your body that's why i hate people talking about the words and illnesses and diseases the way they talk about it and use the words. I can't even stand movies that use it because it just sets from a place of untruth, lie, and then it gets you just terrified of your own body. And I cannot stand that way of life. Being afraid of something that, that's fighting for you every second of every day, yet, yet you're going to be afraid of it. That just doesn't make any sense. And then when you start to grasp that and make those changes, it 100% will repeat, make sense, and work every single time. Every single fucking time. Not randomly, not luck, not if you are a good boy or bad boy, or good girl or bad girl, just all the time. A certainty. And that's what we can have faith in going into a future that is very uncertain. So, I'm um, going to get into all those topics. Falls, Tommy John surgery, uh, hands, feet, wrists, ankles, forearms, calves, knees, elbows, and everything in between. Be prepared. There's going to be a lot you're going to be able to apply afterwards. Up to you if you want. Email me for to register and to submit your questions or any questions that you might have uh, regarding the Zoom. Info at TommyJohnIII.com. And these strength tests, these last three, just to let you know, I'm going to put them all together in another video. How am I able to do, do I do these in training? Absolutely not. I do them once or twice a year to see how I am in preparation of those forces on a concrete pavement with my skin and my hands and my joints and my musculature. 
So how do I prepare to be able to express that? The same things that I'm going over in one-on-ones and in these classes. How could I possibly tell you one thing and do something entirely different? That doesn't make any sense. That's not integrity, that's bullshit, but that is a lot of what's going on. Um, not coming from me, so in case you were wondering, um, trying to connect those dots. See everybody there Thursday. Talk to everyone who's got inquiries or questions and looking to connect. All right, guys, see you then.